Hello internet, my name is Ace and today I'm just going to be talking about how to take your constructed perspective drawings, your kind of guidelines and everything that you're creating in perspective and kind of take that into a more organic kind of nice feeling state. So this is a piece I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to go through every aspect of this uh, piece actually. I'm going to go through getting my values right, adding my colour, everything like that. So as you can see uh, for this, is this is it's going to be painted so these lines aren't going to be seen. So I'm not worrying too much about the actual appearance of the lines. I'm just kind of worrying about the organicness of the form. So as you can see I was kind of uh, adding creases in there and lifting these up slightly from the from the chair just to add a bit of believability and kind of difference to to the feeling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm basically inventing the lighting for this. This is just going to come from my head. So I'm just kind of really trying to get these forms down so I don't have to think about it. And as you can see there, that arm was like a, just a block square kind of thing. And and I kind of turned it into a... I don't even know what shape that is, but whatever shape that is. So it's just about... And, and all of this is freehand. There's no, no ruler work or anything like that, even on the straight lines, because if you work really um, methodical with your perspective. So like, look at those creases, they're super organic and, and everything like that. If you're working like really, like I said, it's really technical with your perspective drawings, then things can look very dead very quickly. And what we want to do is get away from that and have really nice illustrations that are still constructed uh, with perspective and everything like that. So that's all we're doing here. We're taking these blocky shapes. Now, as you can see, this is just in one point perspective. Now, all I did was literally just, just at one vanishing point, apart from that Rubik's Cube um, tissue kind of box thing on the right hand side, that's in two point perspective. But everything else is just one point perspective, just blocks built all the way back. If you don't know how to do that, then um, I came up with an idea whilst I was doing this part as well that was um, instead of having the cushion there to have this Sheldon spot sign because Sheldon's always funny about his spot and obviously this is going to be a caricature of Leonard from the Big Bang Theory, I didn't mention that. So I just wanted to add a little bit of Sheldon in there by having his claim to the spot still there even though it's not there. So, so yeah, so here I'm just defining these forms and just kind of making them just organic and have life to them because in real life nothing's done with a ruler Every, everything's got this like nice organic look to it so that's what just what we're trying to achieve and yeah like I said I just one point perspective just drew some uh, basically boxes I just drew a, a load of boxes that are similar to a surface construction it was basically just three uh, cubes next to each other for the seats and then rising up the back as well and then the two arms you saw that they were like blocky constructions so this is the bookcase in the background oh there's another two point thing with one of these books as well but with this again with the, with this it was just literally um, just boxes just boxes going back in perspective and then just using these lines. Like I say, these lines are not going to be seen at the end. So I'm not worrying too much about how, like the, my line weight, line variation, like how attractive my lines are looking. Not worrying about anything like that during this phase. This phase is literally just defining those forms. And next week I will be putting up the value painting and going through into colors and basically just the full process I'm going to be I'm going to be putting this up because I thought it'd be nice to go feel like a full illustration something that you would get as a client come through saying look we need some like entertainment weekly or something like look we need um caricature of the big bang theory we want um Leonard in a superman outfit playing a video game so you can't really see from this because this sketch is just really rough but uh, he's actually holding like a PlayStation controller so he's, he's playing the PlayStation 
and there'll be maybe a catch in like saving the world one game at a time, kind of something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Uh, and yeah, so like I say, that that bookcase is just some boxes going back in perspective. It's really, really, really simple. And um, as as you can see, you, if you start with that base construction of perspective. Just use it as a guide and then go over the top. Look at look when I hide the actual sketch layer, you can see that things just feel right, they just feel nice, they just feel like they're all all a part of one scene because they are because because the perspective's consistent throughout the image and they are all part of one scene, obviously. So you just get this feeling of uh, cohesion, but then you get the organic feel as well. Because you do see a lot of times with um, illustrations and things like that, you can tell someone's used a ruler. And I just... Uh, I mean, there's nothing against rulers, especially for the actual construction phase, but just to me, I, I feel like a perfectly straight line is just a dead line. I, I, just, I don't think it's got any life or, or pop in, into it. Now here, this was just obviously... a cube in perspective and all I'm doing is adding a little bit of detail and bringing in slightly for the pages during uh, down the middle and here as you can see these are just a few um, cubes stacked next to each other and I'm just picking arbitrary points to cut them off and add in like I'm adding a bit creases in here like it's, it's kind of an old worn book now I've not done like a kind of value study yet for how I want this picture to look, but I'm thinking the background is going to be dark, like all of this. So there's not going to be a lot of detail in those books because you don't need detail in the books. They, they're there to... The, they're there to just kind of imply that they're there, in, in a sense. They're not there... They're not... a storytelling part of the scene i guess that's that's a more uh, elegant way to put it and um the things that you want highlighting i don't you don't want to go in and draw every single page and, and every single detail on the spine with the names of the box or anything like that you don't want that uh this is all going to be values in the background and uh, i'm gonna i'm not sh exactly sure like i say what my value study is going to be but i'm kind of inventing the light so I can in fact what I'll do is one of my videos I'll maybe do like a value study of, of how to take something and really accent it and think about it before you actually start going to color an actual paint actually thinking about the values and and how things are doing like here I just kind of invented the tissues because I'd not drawn them in yet I forgot to draw them in so you just just kind of uh yeah, inventing kind of a shape for the tissues. But like I say, all this will be really tied together when it's all done in the values and, and this line work is, is completely gone. This, Like I say, you're not going to see a single line of this in the, the final image. Now, I'm just doing, I think, the door that's in the background now. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think so. So there's like a door and then next to that there's a, um, like a whiteboard, like a... Yeah, on whiteboard and stuff. So that's all this is. Now, like I said, if there's anything you can take away from, from this video is to just draw things with perspective, construct them properly, and then, look, here, here's the kind of final rough sketch. It's uh, Things will change in the painting phase. They always do. Things never stay the same. The, the sketch is, is there as a guideline. It's not there to be followed exactly. It's a sketch at the end of the day. Okay, so if you've got anything from this video whatsoever, then tickle the old down belows down there, click the like button, the subscribe button, and just just go out and create some solid perspective drawings and then dim that layer or or if you're working traditionally, put a piece of paper over the over the top, put it on like a, a light box and, and you're not tracing, you're just using those as guidelines to create something with something organic and something nice okay so i'll be back next week to show you how i do the values the value study a color study maybe then go into the actual illustration right so take care have an awesome week and i'll see you later bye bye